a pick list. So in our case, we have the lead source. So the lead source, as you can see, is a pick list. And what we want, of course, is to be able to select pick list values with a uh, form butler. Um, okay, so for that, we of course need the API names of the pick list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to our lead source field in uh, setup to really make sure we are copy pasting the API names of the pick list. In this case, the API names are the same uh, as the values, the labels, but of course, yeah, in many cases, this is not, uh, this is not what real life is about. Okay, cool. Let's go to our document first. And we're gonna now have to create a checkbox for every item that we can select. So in our example here, we have uh, three uh, checkboxes and they can select one of the three and that value will be filled in the, in the pick list uh, picklist setup and the picklist value. So uh, in later versions, you will see that we will support the picklist directly here. So you will have a drop down box that you will can uh, that you can put directly on the screen instead of doing multiple uh, check boxes. Okay, let's go and see for this one. I'm gonna take the first uh, merge field. I'm gonna go to uh, PDF uh, to the configuration page and create the first single for form field. The data source is going to be on the opportunity. It's the lead source. The merge field is this one. And then our control type is the, uh, a checkbox, uh, an, a radio box, of course. So um, when you want to do multi-select pick lists, you can do the checkbox because then you can select multiple items. Uh, but when it's a radio button, uh, when it's a, a pick list, you have to select a radio because yeah, there's only one value that's uh, possible. And you will see in the form uh, page that uh, it's only possible to select one checkbox. If you select another one, just like in the radio button, it will be unchecked. Okay, what is gonna be the checked value for this one? Huh? Um, it was the web. So for that, we're gonna go to our um, uh, I'm gonna go here to our pick list values and the API name was web. Okay, so this is when it's unchecked, we do not want a value in this case. So when it would be a real checkbox in Salesforce, yeah, we have the uh, uh, the value true as uh, the checked value and the value false as the unchecked value. So in this case, we have no checked value, unchecked value, so we just leave it empty. Okay, and now for the other two, just gonna erase it now. Okay, add a config type, single for form field, data source is opportunity, lead source, it's of type um, radio single choice, and uh, the checked value, this one was for the phone. So I'm just gonna say it's a phone inquiry. Okay, that's the second one. That's how fast it goes. And the last one, add a config type. Okay, go for the uh, opportunity. It's of course single for form field. Here, yeah, a lead source, merge field, um, radio. And again, it's the, uh, the other, and then the API name is other. So I'm just gonna fill that one here. Okay, cool. That's uh, my configuration. Now the checkboxes should be uh, all done. Now, so if we check this in our uh, in our demo, now when I go and test this, I would expect the three checkboxes to sit on the screen. And yes, indeed, the three checkboxes are there, and even the other one is checked because we our lead source is currently other. So everything looks great, and this is exactly what I expected.